Hi everyone. Well, today I would like to tell you about the SRship and the Fellowship exam at the Tata Memorial Hospital or TMH which is in Mumbai. The exam for SRship and Fellowship is conducted together which is the first part that is the written part which has an MCQ test and total number of MCQs are 50 which means each question carries 2 marks and it's a 100 marks exam. The exam is for 1 hour and what type of questions are asked in this SRship exam or the fellowship exam? It's what I found the written or the MCQ part is quite easier than the questions which are asked in AIMS and one more thing if and only if you are interested to learn and if you are interested in fabricating maxillofacial prosthetics then and only then it's beneficial for you and otherwise the stipend is really good because the stipend for SR is 1 lakh 1000 per month and for fellows it's 1 lakh 3000 per month and one more thing the fellowship is of 2 years uh, and uh, what are the type of questions which are asked I would like to tell you well, the questions that are asked usually varies and like some here what I have understood the questions are asked totally from the basic sciences that is anatomy, biochemistry, physiology etc. And this time what I experienced it's a mixture like uh, some questions are directly lifted from the MCQ books uh, which are from basic sciences like anatomy. In anatomy, they might ask you like maxillary sinus is lined by A. Schneiderian membrane B. Ciliary mucosa etc. Again, some applied anatomy part like if a person has lost sensation of the anterior two third of his tongue, which nerve is affected? Then foramen rotundum carries which structures or which structures passes through foramen rotundum? Then again, uh, one or two questions might be asked from periodontics also. Like if you are, if a nine-year-old patient is going undergoing uh, radiotherapy and has been diagnosed with a large carious lesion in his deciduous molar, which treatment is preferred in that child? Uh, A. Extraction. B. No treatment. Only antibiotics. C. Pulpectomy. Etc. And again, some questions are asked also from community dentistry like if a medicine has been found safe for human use and another trial is started, which phase of trial is being done, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, phase 4 or if you are conducting a study in a cancer hospital, uh, a study of correlation between smoking and uh, lung cancer which type of study you are going to conduct. Also, some other questions are also asked this time like which is directly and purely related to maxillofacial prosthetics itself like Alberta scale is used for measuring with what then uh, well retention for maxillary obturator is obtained from lateral scar band uh, undercuts etc so these are the questions and probable questions uh, i cannot say because the questions really vary from year to year and one more thing after the question is uh, exam is over the names of the selected candidates are declared on the very same day and usually the number of candidates chosen after the MCQ is uh, usually three to four times than that of the number of seats which they offer. Like if there are three seats which is fellow plus SR, one plus two, then the number of selected candidates would be usually 10 to 12. And this time they have another seat for an SR which is at Vishakapatnam. So the number of candidates chosen were about 20. And now comes the viva part. The interview and the viva both are conducted together 
and in the interview uh, you are rather than asking questions you are shown some uh, oral malignant conditions or pre-malignant lesions or uh, any say clinical situation like hemimaxillectomy and hemimandibulectomy patient a patient with both now what are the treatment plan or what are the problems the patients might uh, come across these are the questions which are asked and also you are asked to give a personal statement or a written document that you are in case you are selected you have no problem joining them and they may post you wherever they feel like and also you if you are working somewhere you are asked to show your NOC from your organization so these are the things I hope you find this uh, helpful and if you find this helpful do share it thank you your organization so these are the things I hope you find this uh, helpful and if you find this helpful do share it thank you